I'm very hungover today. But I have a chair and a video to make. Still hung over. It's surprisingly difficult to find a wallpaper steamer in New York, so I've had to come out to the back arse of Brooklyn to go to a Lowe's, which is the only place that I could find that has one. So I'm gonna pick that up and head home and make the wood steamer. Excuse me, can I use that? Sure. A little trolley thing. They see me rolling, they hating, patrolling and trying to kiss me riding dirty, 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 trying to kiss me riding dirty. So I'm gonna make the wood steamer. Um, I'm making it from four inch PVC pipe and uh, a wallpaper steamer that I bought in, in Lowe's. So like this is 50 bucks, this is 20 bucks, so it's pretty cheap. I hope, I've heard that sometimes these PVC pipes melt uh, under high temperature, but uh, fingers crossed that doesn't happen. So basically what I'm gonna do is um, use this speed bore drill to cut a hole in the end cap here. And then I'm gonna fix this pipe to the end of that. And then that's gonna go on to the end of the PVC pipe. Um, and then I can slide in the wood that I've cut for the legs of the chair inside here. Turn on this PV or turn on this um, wallpaper steamer, that's gonna pump steam into here. And then if you leave that for about two or three hours, um, it should it should work like a, a professional wood steamer and the fibers of the wood become loose and then I'm going to be able to bend them around the, uh, the formwork that I made last week. So that's the plan. Let's see how it goes. So this arrived in the post today. About a year ago, uh, when I first started working on the bowspring chair, I thought it'd be a good idea to apply for a design patent. Now the reason I wanted to do that is two reasons. Uh, the first was, I was just curious to see what it actually took to get a design patent, so the whole process behind it. And it's taken uh, almost a year to this point, back and forth with drawings and different forms and all that kind of thing. So I was curious to see what that process was. And the second reason was, I thought if I'm gonna take this chair to the next level and possibly get it out at a production level and mass produce it somehow, then obviously it's gonna be a good idea to have a design patent so I can license that design to a, a larger manufacturing company. There it is, pretty nice. So it comes in this uh, little booklet format, which I wasn't really sure how it was gonna come, but it's actually gorgeous. Um, and then the first inside the cover, you've got the overall drawing of the chair and a couple of the, the descriptions of it. So this is, these are the, the claims that you have um, to the aesthetic value of the chair. Marching, 
so the steam travels up through the pipe. So I might build little, uh, what would you call it? What would I build? Little... Tripods. Not tripods, like little stands. I'll build like, maybe I can laser cut some stands like that get progressively taller. So the steam travels up, but that's it. Steamer done. So now I've got all the tools to make the chair. <laughs>